Question 1. Explain do we need a permit to stock fish into natural waterways or impoundments? Answer. Yes. A permit is required to stock fish into any public impoundment, natural waterway, river, billabong, lake, wetland, stream etc. Question 2. Which species are grown in our country? Answer. The main species grown in Canada are salmon, mussels, oysters and trout. Canada also produces steelhead, arctic char, atlantic cod, sablefish, geoducks, atlantic halibut, cohorts, white sturgeon, delapia and scallops. Question 3. Tell me what educational courses are available for aquaculture. Answer. There are a number of courses on aquaculture available both through universities and fisheries training institutes like Entebbe Uganda. Question 4. Tell me is farmed fish really as healthy as wild fish? Answer. EU. Legislation sets strict rules including maximum levels for contaminants to ensure that our food is safe. These limits are the same for both farmed and wild fish whilst a strict system of official controls in ensures that only healthy food arrives on our tables whether it comes from the EU or from abroad. Question 5. How much does aquaculture contribute to our economy? Answer. Our aquaculture industry generated $969 million in direct sales in 2006 and well over $1 billion in indirect value to the rural Canadian economy. Salmon accounts for approximately 80% of the industry's value. Question 6. Tell me why do we need aquaculture? Answer. The output of the world's wild fisheries is either steady or declining. Yet the human population continues to grow. Aquaculture already supplies half the world's seafood consumed by humans. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization forecasts a global seafood shortage of 50 to 80 million tons by 2030. And aquaculture will help meet that growing demand. Question 7. Tell us do we need a permit to stock our farm dam with fish? Answer. No a permit is not required provided that the farm dam is man-made and located on a private property and the species to be stocked comply with all of the department's policy. Question 8. Do you know how are fish farmed? Answer. Shellfish such as mussels and oysters are grown on ropes, poles or table-like structures. They require clean water to feed on the nutrients suspended in the water. Marine fish such as salmon and sea bass are farmed in large net pens suspended from the sea's surface. Freshwater fish such as trout are usually farmed in a series of tanks through which river water is diverted. Other freshwater fish such as carp are farmed in large lakes and ponds. Question 9. What is a civil violation? Answer. A charge is brought by the district attorney, but is civil in nature and not criminal. It is punishable only by a fine or other sanctions, such as license pension in cases. An example of a civil violation is per of a usable amount of marijuana. Question 10. Do you know what are the major species farmed in the EU? Answer. Approximately 50% of the aquaculture production in the EU is shellfish. Mussels and oysters are the most popular shellfish. Marine fish such as salmon, sea bream and sea bass represent about 27% of our fish farm produce whilst freshwater fish such as trout and carp account for 23% of fish farmed in the EU. The species farmed in the EU are very diverse and include clams, scholar, lobsters and sturgeon caviar algae production is a developing sector question 11 tell us do we need a permit to conduct aquaculture answer aquaculture as defined by the fisheries management act does require a permit there are different types of permit depending on the type of activity you are doing covering everything from hatchery fish out land and lease based culture more information on the types of permits and the permit application process can be obtained from the department's website or by talking to staff from the aquaculture unit if you only wish to produce fish in farm dams for your own consumption an aquaculture permit is not required. Question 12. Explain what major challenges and problems did you face at your last position? Answer. Our farm is located in the villages. It was very difficult to competent employees because of the location and the road leading to the farm. Question 13. Do you know what other methods besides coastal and enclosed tank systems are being used? Answer. There are aquaponics farms that use wastewater from the fish tanks to fertilize crops while filtering the water. This essentially eliminates a lot of waste while creating a usable byproduct. It's a very efficient way to recapture waste products and maximize profits. 
Question 14. Explain what is feed conversion ratio. Answer. Feed conversion ratio FCR is calculated from the number of kilograms of feed used to produce 1 kilogram of fish. Feeding farmed fish is more efficient than feeding land-based animals and the average FCR for farmed fish is close to 1 to 1. Question 15. Tell me is there a market for tilapia in our country? Answer. Yes, there assuredly is. Tilapia is an internationally traded high-quality commodity. It is by no means a trash fish as is mospanka. For example, tilapia compares favorably with hake in the quality of its flesh and lends itself to preparation in many ways. The traditional rural market is for small, whole, wild-colored fish of 100 grams to 300 grams. The urban end of the market is for red tilapia of 450 grams to 600 grams.